previous job. It sucked. But imagine me stuck in an office. Imagine my brain with all these ideas sitting and nodding my head up and down. I would have probably killed myself. Suicide's not funny. But that one was kind of a funny joke. Some of my older friends and my previous leadership, um, Walmart Tech, when COVID hit, they're like, he has so many ideas and he speaks so much more clearly and he's actually doing a lot more than we thought. Yeah, bitch, because not all the distractions, context matters. But now they're gonna watch me on TV. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Don't don't be mean, even for selfish reasons. Like you shouldn't want to be mean or vicious. That you're an ugly person if you have to hurt people um, to feel better. But even if you are a monster, just out of selfish motives. What goes around comes back around. A hey, my baby. There's no reason to be an asshole. You're not gonna get far. Kindness matters. Boycott Walmart. Boycott bullying. Boycott rich assholes in general and politicians. I respect people who fight, but not if they just fight for dumb causes or if they fight for good causes in stupid ways. For example, why would anyone riot and be violent towards our cops? Um, the cops, it's not the cops' fault. Like, the way to win, another reason I love the chess humans, the way to win is to be patient, control your emotions, be calm. And I do a lot of things that seem impulsive, but I'm intentionally being dramatic on YouTube because I'm not 
a famous name, and I don't have a ton of money to throw at ads like some might. So I'm dramatizing my ideas intentionally. If you talk to me in person, or if you met me at a chess club or something, I'm much more similar to just a normal conversationalist, except for better because I'm a good listener. But let's be smart, patient, and calm when standing up for ourselves and others. We'll get results instead of being exhausted by